Link 2012. Okay, good. Finally down. Come on. Good. Very good. And testing for when they die, since I had I had the special thing for detecting when creepers die in order to do the explode, in order to do the um, the effect, I have to make them a one hit kill. And to do that, I test for if their HP is not full, and then I kill them accordingly. So as long as anything hits them, they die. All right, we could put so put away some stuff. We're getting a lot of XP bottles, which is nice. Actually, we don't have a ton of stuff. We just keep keeping useless stuff. <laughs> oh, we need more... Glowstone. There we go. Nuts. And <laughs> I keep stepping on everything. Alright. Well, we don't need half of this. And keep that sorted skull, though. Good. We're two now, so there's two different routes we can take at this point in time. There. Ouch. Yeah, take, they, he takes away half your health, man. That is not a safe thing. Not a safe enemy at all. Oh, there's a chest right here. But, as you can see, there's some spawners too. I'm glad it only spawned one. It spawned up to three. Just need to be careful around them. There we go. Perfect. Alright, there's another spawner right here. Just lighten it up. Goodbye, overload. I love how the diamond uh, goes up in the air a little bit before. Um. Before it lands. <laughs> Cute little animation. Oh, come on. You guys can't be this tough, can you? Now let's grab this chest. Alright, so we have Smite 5. That's pretty cool. Alright, lots more sleeping stones. No, I believe that night vision obs uh, obstructs from you finding something else here. So we need to be careful with that. Yeah, let's use glowstone as our torches for now. But the funny thing is, if the creepers spawn from too high up, when they drop down, they die. So. Oh, yes, here's the secret that I was looking for. There's lots of secrets in here. Actually, not that many. I think there's like two emeralds here total. Where are you spawning from? Anyways, let's go ahead and go in here. So this is actually sort of an interesting thing. So this is really cool. I, I like this. Um, this is interpretation. And this, this is the button to go back. But, there's a command block right here, and this will take you to the next thing, which is observation. Alright, that goes back, but there's a button somewhere in here. As you can see. Thought. And you see, all these things are related, so you have thought being white here. Come on, I just want to... Jump up and touch it. There you go. And now we have an idea. All right. So it's how how far can you go is the question. And you look here, and there's a pattern. And right here is the where, where the pattern is not. All right. Then we have a concept. And we get an emerald. Yay! However. <laughs> This is not where it ends, okay? This is a concept, but this isn't the last layer of things. 
If we look around, we'll notice that there is a redstone torch right there. And there's a redstone torch right here. Well, if we go ahead and grab this and put it up here, we get to truth. And it's beautiful. You've got the flowing water right here. You've got the, the nice gold blocks. And, of course, a chest containing rune leggings. A whole, oh, sorry, a whole rune set with Unbreaking 40, which is massive. I can't remember how good rune is, but I know it's insanely good. All right, we're going to actually put it in a, our chest right now, or we're going to put some stuff in here. Um, but I... Oh, boy. I want to put away this first, actually, because I want to take this off and just see how good it is. All right, so we are pretty fast with this. We're going to use it for a little bit right here, just to see how it works out. Unfortunately, we don't... Oh, we don't have any enchants on it. So we might just get absolutely wrecked with this armor right now. Yeah, maybe we should... We shouldn't put it on quite yet. I do want to try it out, though. I do want to try out a rune set, because I know it's really good. Where's my... i put my emerald in here, too. Smite 5. What else do we have in here? Another rune sword. Lots and lots of sleeping stones. Potion of Swiftness. So it's speed 3, haste, strength, regeneration, fire resistance, invisibility, saturation... Basically everything you could ever want. So this secret, I'm guessing probably almost nobody will find. It's it's pretty obscure, because as I showed you, you have to notice that there's a redstone torch there, and then you have to notice, oh, I should probably put these redstone torches together. But there you go, if you find it, you're awarded. It isn't possible to go any further as a human. Ooh. As a human. Okay, let's go then. Back. All right. So now that we've done that, we can go here now and continue. Okay, this is just pure insanity. Get out of here. Too many of these guys around. We need to go take more of them down. Oh boy. Oh come on, I didn't quite make it up. Thankfully we have the charisma of levitation, which allows us to get out of most scenarios if the area is big enough. So charisma is really, really helpful here. So many of these guys though. Alright, if I shoot. Right, they'll all get hit with the potion. Okay, well, what to do now? It doesn't look like there were any chests there, so we could move on. It'd be hard to block everything off, though. Get up here. Get out of here. Nope! <laughs> Alright, I want more glowstone. Very good. And I'm gonna put down the sword and skull. Right there. There we go. Alright, come at me, bros! Oh, nuts. I had the wrong thing. On. Ah! Nuts, 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 nuts! Okay. I will not prepare for this. Oh, boy. You see that man master ball right there? Oh, boy. So many creeper spawners. At the very least, uh... All the witch macaws are getting destroyed. <laughs> All the recalls. Yeah, guys, what are you doing? What are you doing sitting there? That's where you die. Yeah, well, I don't think I'm going to have to worry about them too much anymore, because once they go in there, they, they get it forever. They get the effect forever. Or for a very, very, very long time. Alright. 
Let's take down some overloads. You know, the redstone in here had to be pretty pretty uh, fast. Or has to be pretty fast in order for everything to work. Perfect. And still taking damage over there. Alright. Oh, yes, this is what I wanted so badly. Okay, so... I'm going to come up here just for a second and show you guys this amazing set. So this is the Hypixel chest plate resistance for set bonus. It's because us two max health, 10% max health. And so these are basically the legendary items plus this resistance for bonus. Now that's a big deal because resistance for is 80% damage reduction. So it's basically... And this armor, I can't remember, is it like 4% reduction per piece? Well, if we go ahead and put all these on, we're still pretty fast. Um, but, okay, I remember this set. This set is so cool. All right, this set is so cool for so many reasons. So if you look down here, we already have, I believe this is 5%, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. No. Okay, so each of these are 4%. So we have 4, uh, 4, 8, 12, plus 2, right? Because there's 10 of these, that means each of them have to be 4, yeah. Okay. So this, uh, uh, this, this armor is a little bit weaker than having diamond armor, except it protects against everything. And as you'll notice, what's up with all these torches? Well, we have a little thing following us around right now that automatically places torches for us. So we don't even have to worry about carrying around so many torches anymore. Um, we're going to use it. It's going to increase our protection overall, because remember right now, we, we're, we're not full diamond. Uh, it's going to allow us to increase... It's going to allow us to tank damage from any source. Like, if we fall down, like, we're not going to be able to float down like we have in the past, but we'll still have a ton of protection against that, because we can still put... Remember, we can still put Feather Falling on, on, on all of it. Anyways, we're going to take the intended way to get up here. The intended way to get up here is through here, uh, you know, for people that don't have, uh, whatchamacallit. The charisma. Right, these guys are going a bit slow, but I don't mind. Ouch. Get me out of there for a second. Very good. We're almost at the top now. Actually, you know what? I want to go back to the base right now and make this set because it's so amazing. This set is just that good. Oh boy. So all of these crystals are pretty cool. This one was crazy to make because I wanted these creepers to be able to come at you from anywhere. And so I believe, yeah, you see right here, this is a barrier block. So they're able to get all the way around this this thing and drop on you, even if you're in there. Oh yeah, we can't hit them right now. Unless maybe we get close enough. Come on, come on, die, die, die. And yeah, as you'll see, there's little purple bits going around. This is almost like an atom. You see that? Wait, why isn't he dying? Oh, there's another thing up there too. No, 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 no! Oh man, I almost got hit by him. Okay, there's actually something up there. That's, they can't spawn below here. But they can spawn over there. And I believe that there is a walkway. So if you come over here... Yeah, there's a walkway right here that they can get to you still. <laughs> Beautiful. Cortex crystal destroy. That makes three of them. So we're three down. A bunch more to go. Oh, great. Oh, whoops. 
whatever. We'll go back up. It's not a problem. No, no, no. Come on. All right, we're taking this way up. Oh, wait, we can't go quite right up there. Ah! You see, angelic feet can be annoying sometimes. They're annoying when trying to climb things. At least we have charisma, though. It makes us climb things like, significantly faster anyways. All right, so I want to go up here. I want that. I want to get that high pixel set set up here. Once we get back, we're gonna go ahead and set up our high pixel set. I remember using it during testing. It was really fun. I can't remember. I might have actually. I probably tested it with a different set. Um, and the reason behind that is, or a different set of items. I like testing with non-conventional things just to make sure they work. Non-conventional setups. Right. I'm not sure how many arrows I'm gonna have to shoot up there in order to kill them. Ouch. Haha! -ha! They're all falling down, and they can't quite fit, so we're we're good. The advantage of being a human and not a and not a wither skeleton. Alright, there's another one. Oh, there's another spawner in here. Alright, we're good. Come on. Why isn't my hacker blade working like it's supposed to? Okay. We got it. We got it. Woo! The rune legends. Alright, we're gonna go ahead back now. Because we did this little portion right here. As you can see, there's an area below this. So that was the other route we could have taken, and we're, well, we have to take it still. It's just a matter of how do you want to get up here. <laughs> it would probably have been wiser to go below first, because that way we wouldn't get hit by anything. Uh, like, if we got hit down, we wouldn't end up dying. Alright. Yeah, after this, I think we're going to be done. We're going to have an... We'll be able to finish the area in the next trek, I'll bet. Wow, this area is really big, actually. I'm surprised. I'm going to miss having all this speed, though, because, you know, the head has a ton of speed. Uh, so we're just going to be a slower version of what we are right now. At the same time, we're going to have the set that absolutely wrecks everything. And so what I'm thinking, I'm going to put one type of protection of everything on it. So I'm going to put projectile protection, blast protection, and fire protection. It's actually really good if we get fire protection, because it, it doesn't... Uh, resistance does protect against fire, but it doesn't prevent the fire from going on forever. And fire protection does that. All right. So we're going to do all that. Of course, we're going to put feather falling, respira respiration, and all that stuff. All that cool stuff. We need to make some enchantments first, though. I think. Do not worry. Really. Okay. I really don't know what to do at this point in time. Coal. Would have been nice to have wither skeletons in an earlier area, actually. You know, that's an idea. If you guys are map makers, <laughs> uh, make an area with wither skeletons at the start. That way people have coal for torches. Like they'll have so much of it they don't they won't know what to do with it. Okay, got you. Okay, I just want my unbreaking rune set. So I'm gonna put that right in here. So many sets man. I didn't know we had so many. Grab the rest of this. So we're actually going to retire this set of items into here, I think, because that's where we're just putting all the OP sets that we've had in the past. We get killed so fast. It's scary, though. 
Right. I want to go and enchant this set right now. The high pixel set. The issue is going to put torches in here. <laughs> I don't want that exactly. We're going to have a ton of knockback resistance, though. 92% knockback resistance, to be precise. Oh, wait a minute. This says it may not be used on an anvil. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. How am I supposed to get the stuff I want? Breaking tree. I don't need no breaking on that. So we're going to have to go through... On the bright side, it's not going to matter what item has the enchantment on it, as long as it's the enchantment we want on it. Okay. Uh, we need books. That way we have some junk enchants. Okay. First things first. Boots. Do I want Feather Falling, or do I want Depth Strider? This last area, I don't think we need a ton of Depth Strider for this area, so we're going to go for Feather Falling on the boots, and then just hope that we get Depth Strider. Respiration 3. I like Respiration 3, but I want the protection guaranteed, so... We're going to go grab a bunch of Lapis. I'm disappointed that we can't... choose our enchantments here. Whoops. I need the Lapis. Okay. That can go thrown away. Get thrown away. Alright. Projectile protection. Perfect. That's what we want. And that's really all we need on this, too. Projectile protection. No. Projectile protection. No. Protection. No. I need feather falling on the boots. Fire protection. Three. No, I want four. I'm breaking three. No. We might just get feather falling on the boots. That would be disappointing. Three. Actually, we should really be doing the boots first here. Reason being, we could get any enchant on the boots. So let's go make sure that we get Feather Flying on the boots first before anything else. There we go. Okay, we get Protection 3. That's better than nothing, okay? So we can we can gar now guarantee protect uh, Fire Protection and Blast Protection, which is good. That's what we want. Blast protection, perfect. And we got respiration too to boot, so that's great. Blast protection on the chest plate, no. I want fire protection. There we go. Thorns, yes, we got thorns as well. All right, this set is boss. Okay, we are, we are so set. We don't even know how set we are. Yep, but now we have the little fairy following us around. Where are you? There it is. See it? Just making torches everywhere. 